Hey, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for all the likes, shares, and comments on the last video. I was so encouraged by that. And if you want more videos like this, we'll keep them coming. In fact, if you have a suggestion for a video in the future, leave a note in the comments box. I'd love to check those out. I was reading Exodus 14, 14 today, and it says this, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. This was spoken to people that were stuck in a really bad spot. It seemed like there were some impossible circumstances and challenges that lied in front of them and the circumstances of their life in the present was seeking to surround and destroy them. And I think, man, that's like life a lot. <laughs> there seems like there's impossible things in front of us and we say, how can we get past this? And at the same time, our circumstances around us are starting to fill us with fear. The, the cool part about this verse is, is it's a statement that says there are battles in your life you don't have to fight anymore. Maybe you've been fighting over and over and over again to, to have a relationship fixed or restored or, to, or to, to have a situation at work be resolved. And it seems like no matter how hard you fight, you get nowhere except exhausted. Well, what if you stopped fighting those battles and gave those to God? That, that's the be still part. You see, being still, it's an admission that I can't do it anymore and that I need God to do something for me. And being still is a trust thing. And what if you could start to trust God, that he cares about you and that he'll take care of it and that he will fight battles on your behalf. I think that if you could trust him with some of those circumstances, you would see him start to do what you thought was impossible in your relationships and circumstances. Man, I hope you know how much God loves you, and I hope you know how much we love you too. Until next time, see you guys later.